In this video tutorial, I will teach you how you can create a student registration form in HTML and then validate the input fields using the JavaScript. So this is our HTML page, student registration.html. HTML starts with the HTML tag and then ends with the HTML tag. Then we have head tag. Under head tag, we have a student registration form as a title element. So this is displaying a student registration form as a title in the browser. Next, the head tag will close and the body tag will start. So in the body tag, we can provide the body of the HTML page and next thing is the form tag. So form tag is used for uh, posting the data onto the server side and we have action method. Action method is nothing but the server side is script that will process this form data. So when user clicks on the submit form button this data will go to the student.php file. Next thing is the table, HTML table. And this HTML table is creates the HTML rows and columns. So we have uh, one row which contains name and the input field. And similarly, second row, third row, fourth, and so on. So to create this uh, title, we should have td call span 2 and then the this text. So if I refresh, it is going to display the student registration form. Next is the name. So we have name as a text in the td and uh, there is an input type text and the and the field name is text name student name the student name and uh, we can specify the id the student name so we can access this uh, input box in javascript either with the name or with the student name So this is student name. Similarly, we can remove this uh, comment. So this is used for comment. All the other parts are in commented block. So we'll have now will come the father's name. Similarly, we have post postal address, in person address, and the sex. So in the sex, you can see we have an input radio button. So this is a radio button. And uh, so that we can select for making a radio button, we'll have to uh, use the input type radio and name sex, another sex and this. So the first value is male and the second is for female. So this way you can create a radio button. Either you can select male or female. Next we have city. City is a combo box type like this one. You can uh, fill in the entries here. So for city, we have to use the select box. So select name is city and under city, we have options. These are one, two, three, four, four options. First is select. Then the second is New Delhi, Mumbai, Goa, Patna. So one, four, one, two, three, four. So there are five elements in the city combo box. First is select, 
second is the new delhi mumbai goa and patna so this is the sit combo box so you can make a combo box like this in the html page similarly we have another combo box for course another for district and another for state so these are the values so these are all different combo box then pin code email id dob date of birth mobile and mobile number and the input button so all are available now then we have a button called submit and then is a reset so reset button is used to reset the data and this uh, input submit is used to submit the form data entered by the user so let me show you the uh, reset i just i entered it now on clicking a reset it's going to reset if i click on submit it's going to post the data here we can have two things a uh, math action then the method so post method is going to post the data submit is going to post the data but we don't have any server side script so it's opening uh, it's showing this page not found and uh, so this form is done next i will show you how you can make the javascript validation for this you have to create a, uh, a script file called validate.js and uh, save it here it is saved and then we can include the javascript by this tag so we should include this in the head tag head contains javascript then type is text or javascript and source is validate.js so this validate.js will be loaded for validation and this is the dot.js and for each uh, field we are using document dot this uh, student registration name and so on so student registration this is the field i mean uh, uh, student registration form name then is text names so we just change the this text names to student name so we need to change here now it will work so let's just see how it works sorry we need to add the this code also in the form method so action ye so form action is student dot php post method is post name is student registration so this is form name and we have to put put we have to write the all submit return validate so validate is a function here it returns the value either false and there is no error then there is no validation error then it will return the true here so let's test the form now submit javascript alert please please provide name let me explain you how it working how it's working so student registration dot student name student registration form dot student name is equal to this uh, blank then it is showing the alert message so this is alert which displays the error so for each form we have these validation values and for sex we is a che uh, check box so we'll have to validate like this students registration dot sex dot checked is equal to equal to false or this is false then we'll have to ask the user to enter the values so here nothing is selected
now it is saying please choose gender male or female then next it is saying select city south and house city is validated if document dot student registration dot city is dot value equal to minus one means this is checking the value minus one is the first one select then it is showing that please select the values so based on the value you can check the validation then pin code One, two, three, four, five. Email ID. Then DOB. Zero two. Zero two. Then two zero two mobile number one two three four five six seven show mobile number length should be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Now everything is validated and form is submitted. So this doesn't have the server side script. That's why it's giving the error. So today you learned how to make a simple student registration form, then add the validation to it. We have thousands of tutorials on our website. In HTML section, you find these. Tutorials to learn the HTML from scratch to more advanced topics. So in HTML5, we have these tutorials on HTML file. You can also learn HTML file here. And if you are planning to learn the Java, you can visit our website and learn from the Java programming section. It contains thousands of tutorials in Java programming language. We also have tutorials on Hibernate, Struts, XML, JSP, Java, databases, JavaScript, Java server faces, PHP, and so on. So thanks for viewing the tutorial. Visit our website and learn these tutorials. Also subscribe our YouTube channel.